I've been working on this idea of uh, trying to reintroduce um, some of those messages around a safe and safer sexual practice. And we developed all those in the mid 1980s, a long, long time ago. I can still remember how the music used to make me. Never mind. Um, and one of the things I've been trying is using contemporary iconography and contemporary patterns and themes in order to introduce those messages in a way which is accessible and doesn't overly challenge. Um, and so as the whole S&M genre is still relatively popular, I decided, <laughs> sorry, I've just been eating chocolate, if you hear me, I'm salivating a little too much. I don't normally do chocolate first thing in the morning. It was just calling me. Anyway, <laughs> I got a mate coming in a bit, um, who um, who's a relationship and whatever uh, specialist, and we're going to talk about using some of these messages because it worked when we did the safer sex protocol for the adult film industry. So I'm going to be doing this stuff around S and M. I've got this, I've had this years. I've decided I'm going to make it into a, a shibari suspension bar. And if you don't know what that is, probably don't Google it, it might freak you out a little bit. But I'm going to see how it works in here. Um, and my mate's coming and she's going to think. <laughs> this is 50 metres. This is today's delivery. Beautiful, well made. I've marked it out into 10 metre lengths. I'm probably not going to cut it just yet. Uh, this is going to be for an exhibition. Um, 50 metres of 12 mil. Beautiful cotton bondage rope. You probably, this is about the minimum diameter you'd use for a suspension because cotton rope isn't quite as, uh, as strong uh, as hemp or uh, jute. Jute is what the Japanese would normally use. Anyway, so stop talking about that edit and see if we could do something with that shibari suspension bar or big lump of bamboo as normal folk call it what a beautiful beautiful piece of bamboo isn't it right i'm gonna see if we can put it up there right pause well that seemed to go relatively easily i put some very large hooks in those joists we don't want to go be making Two bigger holes in those joists because they're holding the upstairs upstairs from being downstairs. <sighs> so it's about right. The alignment's bang on. It's exactly as it should be. Uh, I'm going to tie it up now and uh, try and make it pretty. And it, yes, it's at an angle. I know this is weird because um, most things in Shibari work on that beautiful symmetry but hanging the shibari bar up here um, actually kimbaku bar but anyway uh, I wanted it at an angle because I might want to take some photos and it would give me a better use of the natural light from over here and if I take that down from over there so um, in other words, it gives me more flexibility in terms of the photography. Not that I'm going to be doing much in here because it's a bloody mess again. Right, so tie it up. That works reasonably well. I have a working suspension bar. And bamboo is remarkably strong. Uh, now, I've done on those. You can't actually see the type of knot on there. It's actually a macrame knot. It doesn't show up remarkably well. And when it stretches, it, it lays out nicely. Um, macrame with large 20mm rope like that 
isn't <laughs> the easiest thing in the world. But one that stretches down. I might do a couple of test ties. I don't have a model. Anyone free today? <laughs> What's tomorrow? Friday, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> anyway, right. And perfect timing. I have a I have a coffee guest about to arrive. And we're gonna talk about HIV testing and how to get the over 50s interested in safer sex. <laughs> and avoid abusive situations and all that sort of stuff. Crikey, it's almost like being back in the 80s. I'll go and play some Duran Duran. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, <laughs> coffee and... <laughs> coffee and come back. Ah, uh, yes. Good meeting. Um, I love that bit when people say, what's it like? Because there's no way you can really explain it without, anyway. <laughs> uh, right. So anyway, the bar's up. Four, four ropes, i put four ropes here. Um, just to demonstrate different types of ropes. This is, um, <laughs> ah, this is an open braid. It's called an open braid. Very soft cotton rope, beautiful. Um, washable, beautiful, soft to the touch. And up there it's attached with just known as a lark head. So it's literally just a loop and the rope pulled through. That's a lark head. <laughs> this is the same type of open braid. Again, black cotton, got a bit dusty. Black, soft black cotton. It's lovely stuff uh, and up there is a different type of knot that's a locking off knot so there's no way now that that can that, that can um, collapse now if that was around a leg or something it means it's not going to tighten and cut off the blood supply to the leg uh, so for a suspension if that was the other way around a leg could be in there and the rest of the rope thrown over and then pull up um, Again, that's a slightly different type of locking off knot, which goes around twice, and then you uh, feed through the bite. The, the, the looped end is the bite, and then you've got your running ends here. It's a slightly different type of rope. This is a closed small braid. So if you have a look at this, it's still remarkably soft and nice, but it's a lot closer braid than these, which are more open. So this feels more hollow, whoops, let's get it in. That feels more hollow, this is tougher. All of these are six mil. And then finally, a slightly different one, this is slightly brighter. And this is in between the open and closed braids. So this is harder or more solid. That is very, very loose. And this is sort of in between. It's a nice color as well, but this is still a closed braid. Now all of those are braided. And they're different from this, which is a free strand twisted. And it's horses for courses, it depends what you like. For presentation stuff, this looks nice. Although, what I tend to do in exhibitions and or exhibitions, demonstrations, I should say, with these is I'll use these because they're pretty. No other reason. Black, traditional, black is the new black. Um, and then three different types of purple. And as you can see, they are very different shades of purple. Uh, and they contrast really well. So when doing a, a demonstration, they're nicer to use. Although more traditional would be this, although this is cotton, this isn't jute. Japanese uh, shibari will always use jute um, and jute will be treated, uh, it will be softened and then they'll use a wax or an oil on the rope just to keep it nice. Uh, I've got another video somewhere which I put up on YouTube which talks about rope um, well, it talks about ropes and chains because what you don't want is anything that's going to cause harm here we go again harm um, so these are um, cotton to be soft 
Uh, but also, you wouldn't suspend, really, apart from legs. The torso, you'd use something stronger, but you wouldn't use this for torso, because it could, it could break. It's the last thing you'd want. Uh, but for legs and arms, this is, this is fine, as long as the torso itself is secured with a stronger hemp or jute rope. I prefer hemp. You'd have expected me to say that, wouldn't you? <laughs> of course I prefer hemp. Right, that's that. A very interesting chat as well about abuse potential and abusers, which has blown my mind a little bit because there's a very simple exercise you can do. Whenever you read something in a newspaper about an abuse story, swap the genders around. Because usually it will be a male abusing a female when it's reported. It will either be physical, psychological, emotional, sexual or financial. Those are the forms, those are the most common forms of abuse. And they're usually male against female. But just next time you hear or read a story, just swap the genders so that it's a woman doing it to a man. Uh, yeah, so interesting, interesting morning. Got to tie up a sexual health advisor. And uh, I'd also talk about all sorts of groovy things in terms of harm reduction. It's almost, it really is like being back in the 80s. I've gone back to my future.